Hello and welcome back to another week in new genre books. Thanks for stopping by. We're always glad to have you here. My name is Amelia and from Locus Magazine, I'm about to tell you the top new science fiction, fantasy, and horror books being published the week of June 13th, 2023. Please like and subscribe. We need your support to keep this booktube going. And all you have to do is click the subscribe button. Help us get past that thousand subscriber mark. We're so excited. If you're already a subscriber, why not tell your friends? We read the comments and we appreciate you sharing your precious time with us. Now onto the books. I've got links for timing if you want to skip to your favorite category, be it science fiction, fantasy, or horror. Starting with science fiction books this week, we have four science fiction titles being published. From Nicole Corner Stace, we saw Flight and Anchor out from Tachyon Publications in trade paperback and ebook. This is a science fiction novella set in the world of Firebreak. Two young modified soldiers escape from a prison lab in an adventure of corporate corruption, hazardous flight, and divided loyalties. From the review by Gary K. Wolf in the June issue of Locus Magazine, the 12 year old protagonists are so dehumanized that they have numbers instead of names, like in We or Stranger Things. 06 is a resourceful but rebellious girl, and 22 a more cautious and circumspect boy. But as the story begins, they might as well be Hans Christian Andersen waifs, dangerously underdressed during a winter storm until a kindly barista offers them shelter in her coffee shop. Soon, the kids find a makeshift shelter in an abandoned shipping container. And for a while, the tale seems a deliberate homage to the endless Boxcar Children series, and particularly the 1924 original by Gertrude Chandler Warner, which Corner Stace acknowledges with some insightful comments in an afterword. But as readers of Firebreak will already know, this setting is light years removed from the Norman Rockwell America of Warner's original novel. Instead, it's the uber-capitalist corporate dystopia which has replaced the United States in that earlier novel, and the kids are actually wholly owned billion dollar super weapons of the ruthless Stalaxis Corporation in its ongoing economic and political wars. From David A. Collier, we saw Earth's Ecocide, Devastation 2647, out from Atmosphere Press in trade paperback. This is a science fiction novel, a 1,000 year story of humanity struggling to cope with climate destruction and the awakening of artificial intelligence. Which, quick aside, the staggeringly brilliant Ted Chang said in a recent interview with the Financial Times that artificial intelligence could more accurately be called applied statistics. Chang's words, I think, that if we had chosen a different phrase for it back in the 1950s, we might have avoided a lot of the confusion that we're having now. And still, the machines waking up and taking over somehow speaks to us, maybe because we have a feeling that we as a species could do better, or maybe because we're afraid of doing much worse. Anyway, back to Ecocide Devastation 2647. What will life be like if global average temperatures increase two, four, or eight degrees Celsius? What will life be like if sea levels increase one, 10, or 70 meters? What if both happen? From John Janssenen, we saw Mason's Jar out from ECW Press and trade paperback and ebook. I appreciate the pun. Nicely done. Mason has a jar in this jarring new novel. This is a near future science fiction horror novel. Ex-police chief Mason Lowry wants revenge against the outlaw biker gang who killed his granddaughter, but they unleash violence first by withholding a drug withdrawal from which causes violent psychosis. Les Edgerton, author of Hard Times, Adrenaline Junkie, and others, said this. What really struck me was that it was an intelligent book written by an intelligent writer for intelligent readers. He played the notes that weren't there, as Miles Davis said. From Carolyn Wilson, we saw The Faint of Heart out from Green Willow in hardcover trade paperback and ebook. This is a young adult science fiction novel. Not that long ago, the scientists discovered that all Sadness, anxiety, and anger disappeared when you removed your heart. That's all it took. Soon enough, the hospital had lines out the door, even though the procedure numbed the good feelings too. Next up horror, we have two titles in horror this week. From Dale Halverson and Sam Beck Bessinger, we saw Girls of Little Hope out from Titan Books UK in trade paperback. This is a horror novel. Three girls went into the woods, only two came back, covered in blood and with no memory of what happened. Being 15 is tough, tougher, when you live in a boring small town like Little Hope, California, population 
8302 in 1996. Donna, Ray, and Kat keep each other sane with a fervor of teen girl friendships, zine making, and some amateur sleuthing into the town's most enduring mystery, a lost gold mine, and why little Ronnie Gaskins burned his parents alive a decade ago. Halverson from his Twitter bio is a horror nerd, writer, and award-winning book cover designer and illustrator. He is also proudly autistic. Beck Bessinger from her Twitter bio is a storyteller, horror nerd, and spreadsheet addict, and an associate university lecturer. From John Everson, we saw The Night Mother out from Flame Tree Press UK in trade paperback and ebook. This is an erotic horror novel. Selena, a fallen angel, knew that once exposed, you could never escape the pull of Nightwear, a mysterious underground sex club run by beings called The Watchers. Cassie, a driven dominatrix, didn't know about the never escaping part? When both are drawn into the club's secret rooms that promise an ecstasy of forbidden pain and pleasure, they must somehow try to protect the men they love, because the club's midnight queen, the Night Mother, has a deadly plan that may break the boundaries of our world and destroy everything and everyone they've ever desired. This is the sequel to the Bram Stoker Award finalist, Nightwear. Next up, fantasy, we have 10 titles this week. From the prolific New York Times number one best-selling author Kim Harrison, we saw Demons of Good and Evil out from Ace in hardcover ebook and audio. This is an urban fantasy novel. Rachel Morgan, witch-born demon, suspected that protecting the paranormal citizens of Cincinnati as the demon Sub Rosa would be trouble, but it's rapidly becoming way more trouble than even she could have imagined. From J.R. Dawson, we saw the first bright thing out from Tor in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a dark historical fantasy novel set after World War I about the circus of the Fantasticals, full of magical misfits and a ringmaster, Rin, who can jump in time, but has visions about a malevolent circus out of her past. From Molly Lynch, we saw The Forbidden Territory of a Terrifying Woman, out from Catapult in trade paperback and ebook. This is a literary fantasy novel mixing classical myth, feminist theory, and environmental disaster. Mothers disappear across the world. One returns two weeks later and struggles to recall what happened. Alice McDermott, author of The Ninth Hour says, Molly Lynch's hypnotic debut in its intensity and wry wisdom evokes the early feminist novels of Margaret Atwood. Lynch is the kind of writer who can, with the turn of a phrase, set the ordinary thrumming with almost unbearable tension. From Lisa T. Berggren, we saw Estuary out from Enclave in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a fantasy romance novel. Lady Tiliani Forelli is the epitome of the she-wolves who raised her, an adept archer with a mind of her own. It is long past time for her to wed, but she deems each young lord who comes to bid for her hand lacking. With battles upon their border and rumors of war growing louder on every front, Lady Forelli's decision could secure her kingdom's peace or bring about its destruction. From Julia Fine, we saw Madalena and the Dark out from Flatiron in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a historical novel set in Venice, 1717. Lush and heady, swirling with music and magic, Madalena and the Dark is a Venetian fairy tale about the friendship between two girls and the boundless desire that will set them free if it doesn't consume them first. From Sophie Keach, we saw Morgan Is My Name out from Random House Canada and hardcover trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is an Arthurian fantasy novel. A powerful feminist retelling of the early life of Morgan Le Fay, the famed villainess of Arthurian legend. This dazzling debut is the story of a woman both mortal and magical, formidable and misunderstood, told in her own words. From A.K. Mulford, we saw The Evergreen Air out from Harper Voyager U.S. in hardcover trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy romance novel following a bookish heir's fight to save their mother and kingdom when an unexpected romance blossoms. The crown is calling their name, yet can their head bear the weight when passion sets hearts racing. From Critica H. Rao, we saw The Surviving Sky out from Titan Books UK in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is an epic near-future science fantasy novel inspired by Hindu philosophy, the first in the Rages trilogy. 
enter a lush world of cataclysmic storms, planet-wide jungles, floating cities, and devastating magic in this first book of an explosive new science fantasy trilogy. From W.A. Simpson, we saw Tarotmancer out from Flame Tree Press US in hardcover trade paperback and ebook. This is a high fantasy novel. Following Tinderbox, the acclaimed first title in the Tales of the Riven Isles, the story of magic and revenge, continues with Tarotmancer. Harper holds the gift of divination. Red is the infamous Reynard the Fox, fugitive shapeshifter. Red is taken to the kingdom of Vale within underneath so that he can pay for his past crimes, and Harper is taken as hostage. With the rot drawing on the hatred of the citizens, including Harper, she realizes she must put her feelings aside and save Red from the punishment of the cesspit. As the rot continues to grow, all must take control of their emotions and join to protect the kingdom of Vale. From the New York Times bestselling author of Angelology, Danielle Trussoni, we saw The Puzzle Master out from Random House in hardcover trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a dark fantasy slash thriller novel. Reality and the supernatural collide when genius puzzle solver Mike Brink investigates a convicted murderer's mysterious drawing, leading to historical puzzles and Jewish mysticism. Douglas Preston, co-author of Bloodless and the Cabinet of Curiosities, said this, This story has all the elements I love. Dark histories, gothic settings, murder, vivid characters, and a twisty, unpredictable plot. Next up, we have one anthology this week. From editors Cadwell Turnbull and Josh Yur, we saw Many Worlds, or The Simulacra, out from Radix Media in trade paperback. The Simulacra is an anthology of reality-bending stories from a one-of-a-kind collective of authors building a shared multiverse. The stories in this anthology range from quietly strange to ambitiously speculative. Humans transform into cosmic energy or sentient algae. A man wakes up in a new body in a world with continents cut out, months absent from the calendar year, and souls misplaced. Students at a high school regularly vanish without a trace. A woman descends into the depths of the ocean and encounters all-knowing creatures who may have the answers to her deepest questions. That wraps up this week. Thanks for spending some time with us. At Locus, we want to tell you everything relevant that's happening in the science fiction fantasy horror publishing space. We appreciate your eyes and ears and your likes and subscribes. Please do subscribe and turn notifications on so you know about this video when it goes up every week. Come back and see us again soon, and we'll be here next week with more new books.